John Park Mims, and I grew up in Tulsa County, Alabama, out in the country. My daddy was an ex World War One Marine, and made me think about it a little bit. And of course, growing up on the farm, I had planned to work my way through college and all of those things. But I had two cousins that were pilots in the Navy uh, that were a little older than I was, and they uh, joined the Flying Tigers, and but they were both killed on their last flight uh, in China. They made me want to go that way, but I went to college, started college, I was at Auburn, and I was in the cavalry, and would have had a commission coming in the cavalry. The war started. In the meantime, uh, the first Civil Air Patrol in the, the country was started there, and uh, I happened to be lucky enough to make the cut and get in. There's 12 of us, and I had my private pilot's license. Then World War II started, and I thought I would much rather be a Navy pilot than to be a cavalry lieutenant. So I got out, I resigned from that, and joined the Naval Air Corps. And it went from there. My first uh, assignment was still in training, but on submarine patrol in the Atlantic. Uh, first time I didn't find a submarine, but I was known for bombing a big whale that I thought was a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> and they had pictures and all of it. They've laughed at me all those years for it. <laughs> I was patrol, search, rescue, and some night bombing. Did you did you encounter any? You know, did you tell me so far about as, some of your search and so far, rescue we missions? We had a lot did of uh, rough conditions we were in, the scary conditions. But so far as actual battles, I never was shot at but one time that I know of. Is that right? Mm -hmm. When was but, that? And that was in New Guinea, and I was going across, I'd been scouting out of there and took a shortcut back over and we got into a little skirmish with a bunch of the Japanese we thought was out of ammunition and they weren't. So uh, we got it, but that was in uh, this plane then, that was a different kind of plane altogether. That was the plane, the naval plane that yes, you flew? Yes, this is right. Uh, there was, they were all Navy planes that I flew, but this was a PBY-5A that was an amphibious plane. You said that you, your job was, part of your job was search and rescue. Did you have any search and rescue yes, missions? Yes, yes, we had a lot of those. I had a lot of search and rescue missions, and we had a lot of patrol. Uh, that was most of what I did, patrol. Well, what, what did the patrol consist of? Uh, well, we, patrol would go where we thought the Japanese might be and try to spot them and so forth. And mine uh, was one with Task Force 57 when it was getting ready to invade the Philippines and those things. I patrolled around the, uh, the fleet. The, French, the Vichy French still had a warship uh, that they were trying to be a little bit aggressive with after the war. And they came there off the coast of Africa and started firing, and uh, we started planes, went out to, to check them. And uh, at that time, the captain of the station was going and left me in charge. So I told them uh, we this was us going out. There happened to be a, another plane there at the time that was a photography plane, and he flew with us. And that's where this picture came from. Wow. And, so this was all post-war. <clears throat> it was right after the, the, mm -hmm. the, the war, but the French was at a, one battleship was still. There was a big battleship there, and we didn't have a bomb with us. Didn't even have a bullet for our guns, but we bluffed them and had them to put their all of us open our bomb bays, and then the plane that was doing the um, photographing was a torpedo bomber. And I had him to fly to our left to stay out of range of the small arms fire from the ship with his Bombay open and uh, Mayor Bedford Rogers, she comes out of the family of Rogers and Bedford from up in Tennessee uh, and I was on my way to Africa and I stopped in West Palm Beach I had to change planes I was going to be there for really a couple of weeks 
and ran into an old college roommate that couldn't get in service, but he was a quarantine inspector. And he asked, wanted me to go to church with him, meet this girl that he'd been trying to date, and she wouldn't date him and date her while I was there, and then turn over to him, and I did, and I, he threw her back or something. They never did hit it off. Uh, then I went to that.